everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to share with you my experiments dyeing paper. Yes, I've been busy dyeing paper because I had a curiosity of um, make um, junk journals and traveler's notebook using these um, papers that look so beautiful and I started dying with one thing and then another and then another and every time I went to YouTube to make sure that I was doing fine I found another tutorial sharing a different color or sharing something new so I had lots of fun doing this and I'll let you know all the tips and tricks that I pick up making this on my own. So I'm going to start sharing with you um, the regular color, which is um, white, but not all of them looks like um, bright white. For example, right here, this is the seam binding, it's very beautiful white. And this one is, is uh, embroidery lace, but it's not super white. Um, then here is the copy paper which is really white and right here I have papers from a notebook and then look at this um, music paper that I have it looks kind of ivory and then I have this one right here which is a planner I think and it's really really white and this one is just to uh, mark up here what month and what day and write notes. So it's very, very nice for a journal, right? So I got all those papers and I'm going to share with you every time um, I have, I'm going to put it up here like this so you can compare the colors. Um, I dye cardstock as well and a scrapbooking paper and I do not recommend to you to dye those papers. You're going to waste your time. The cardstock and the scrapbooking paper, they don't get the colors very well and because they are kind of thick, it takes longer and while they are more time in the water, they dissolve. And I'm going to tell you while I'm sharing with you the colors, um, my experience and what I find out that it's a good thing and a bad thing to do, okay? So now let's start with the first thing that I try. I didn't have any tea, like classic tea at home. So I look and look and I found this one, chamomile. Chamomile is manzanilla in Espanol, okay? Chamomile, and then I found this one, which is pomegranate with green tea. When I um, checked this one was pomegranate, I said, oh, this might be pink, so I'm gonna try. And the green tea tends to um, go brown, so you will see the result. Now, I wanna show you, the chamomile is super duper beautiful for shabby chic journals. Look at these colors super beautiful it's not too white it's not ivory it's a very soft ivory and here are the laces as you can see right here this one is a little bit um stronger ivory than this one then right here the seam binding it, you will um see that looks white but when you put it together Okay, you can see the, the difference, see? This one, it's kind of ivory. And then I have right here, coffee filters that were white, but comparing with these colors, you can see that this is a very light ivory as well, right? Then these are the envelopes. And these are the regular envelopes that I use with um, cards and envelopes from Michaels. And look at this one right here. This is the copy paper. And as you can see, it's a very, very light compared with the, it's a very, very uh, ivory compared with the original. See? But, and after you take them from the oven, you have to iron on so it can look much, much better. See? 
and if you see it has a lot of wrinkles and this was an experiment i wanted to see the texture of the papers before i soak in the in the papers on the on the water i wrinkle it okay i wrinkle the copy paper and then i open it and immerse in the water then i took them and put it in the oven and it will look like this all of these papers were wrinkled first but i find out that it's not necessary to wrinkle the papers to have this uh, kind of designs it looks more wrinkles but um, it's better just to um, put the paper as it is because then when you take them apart it will wrinkle and it will look better okay it will have wrinkles and creases and everything but it will look much much better than all of these okay for, for me it, it's not necessary to do this okay and um, here is the other paper as you can see it looks kind of vintage but it's not too dark and I it, and I can use in the journal and it will look very shabby right and now I'm gonna show you this one is the music paper and it looks kind of the same same color it didn't change nothing at all okay it's just the the fact that you put it in the oven and it has some texture only then right here this one it's a very very thin paper okay and when you put it in there all the papers that are thinner they get the color more than the the ones that are regular like the copy paper so that's why you can see right here kind of yellow color okay and you can see right here see the difference so um that's one of the tips that i want to give you when you select the papers okay put the thinners on top because if you put it at the bottom it's going to stain more well it's up to you right so um i'm outside because i want you to show you the colors with the daylight and it's very noisy in here it's too windy <laughs> and the airport is very close and my dog is next to me <laughs> okay now I'm going to show you the next one that I thought that it was going to be pink, but it looks like kind of dusty pink, vintage pink, I will say. This one is the pomegranate green tea. I just had curiosity to try different things. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to try this one. And you can try with a cranberry tea and you might get the the real pink right i don't know uh, i will try i will keep trying okay so with that one this is the coffee filter as you can see this one is kind of um pink and brown see and you know what uh, one of the tips that i, uh, I want to give you before i forget <laughs> before i forget <laughs> is that when you put the cookie sheets it's better to line the cookie sheets with baking paper or parchment paper. I use parchment paper. You can find parchment paper at dollar three or ninety nine cents, and you line your cookie sheet, and you don't get these um, dark um, spots because this is for the cookie sheet. Okay, when it starts, um, when it starts like um, getting too too hot, when you leave it too much because all of this will kind of wrinkle when you took it to, from the water so these parts were like touching the cookie sheet and i put it um on the metal without um any lining so all these parts um tend to burn more and it's not burnt but um it gets that, that darker color but if you put um the lining then it will look like this okay so um that, that's one of the things that i got in an experience and i then try with um, the other ones and i found out that that was the reason the what you get the uh, dark colors like the brownish colors okay and this is the doily 
and this one was white and look looks very very soft pink but again it's like a vintage pink vintage rose and these are the papers okay uh, this is the copy paper and again i wrinkled this one and it's not necessary to do it but um this is how it looks see so this is the paper and as you can see i'm gonna put this one on the side as you can see right here this is the music paper which was ivory but it, it didn't get the pink color uh, right here just a little bit but uh it's mostly see on the edges okay when i let it dry like this i think it went like all the the tea in here and stay there okay and this is the um calendar paper see and look at the color and now i'm gonna show you the classic tea i got this um, classic tea at Walmart and it comes 100 tea bags and this one was $1.19 so I'm gonna show you with the classic tea these are the colors look these are the filters the coffee filters they look brown so compare the colors with this one that was the pomegranate see it's different right this one has a little bit of pink and this is kind of brownish vintage and look at the um, envelopes okay it, it got this color and i really really like it so so super vintage now i'm going to put this one on the side here is the doily and here i have the papers like this one for example is the um, um notebook see how it looks very vintage right and this was at the bottom that's why it picked up more of the color so if you leave it um these thin papers at the bottom they are going to get more of the stain okay so depends on what you want if you want a light color you just put it at the end and leave it on top if you want a very dark color put it at the bottom okay with the thin papers and if you uh, let them stay in the water more than 10 minutes they are going to get darker and darker too okay um, then right here the music paper look it looks a little more darker and vintage I love the edges and right here is the um calendar which is this one look see it's very dark because i put this one at, at the bottom and as you can see this one it's because there was the lace and other stuff at the bottom and it stained differently okay so see there was the envelopes right here and that's how you get more stains and marks okay then this is the copy paper which is this one right here okay it's super white and look how it looks right here I'm going to do fast because it's too windy okay see how beautiful and because i put it one by one it has an even color see okay and i wanted to show you right here can you see it's not wrinkled? It's, it's not too wrinkled because these papers, I just put it like that, okay? Like that. And this one, I wrinkle it and you can see the difference, right? See? And if you don't want to have these dark things like this, like, like a burn paper, you are going to line the cookie sheets with a parchment paper okay this one was almost catching fire <laughs> maybe it was too long in the oven now i'm going to show you what i got uh dying with the avocado this pink this pink looks beautiful beautiful i love it it's 
so shabby chic beautiful look this is the um, look this is the seam binding it looks delicate and the color is so soft this is some um cotton lace and it got this vintage rose then this is the embroidery lace and look see and this one i air dry them okay this one i air dry them and this is a cotton lace too so those are the laces and now look at this beautiful color for the coffee filters see beautiful beautiful now look at the difference between the other one the pomegranate okay see this is more pink right the avocado and then right here look at the envelopes everything is pink look right here i want to share with you that when you put the um papers or the or the doilies or anything in the water you have to cover it with the water that's why i i did one by one because if you put it and you put it like two or three and it doesn't get the water then you will see these um different colors it will be like lighter right here like white see can you see and look at this one see can you see some white in here it's because i put like three or four i think and i cover it and i just put it all together and only the outside was um getting the color and these ones were not because they were covered so when you put it just try to put one by one but then after when you take them out is that you can get like a bunch and put it on the side okay and now i'm gonna show you the beautiful papers look at this super beautiful and right here at the end i'm gonna show you look at this it's because uh some stuff was in there like i think the envelopes and it was kind of stained can you see the envelopes I put some papers and then I put the envelopes and then I keep putting papers and this is what you get. See, I told you that's why I noticed that, that it stains because you put something um, that's not the same. If you want all your papers look like even color, you don't want these kind of stains then you have to put only papers one by one on top of the other okay and then the envelopes on top or at the very bottom but you know that you will get these kind of things okay these kind of marks when you finish grabbing them okay now these are the notebook paper and look the edge you can see more at the edge okay the color and then again because there were some stuff in there okay touching it's where you get the stains okay like right here was something else especially when you put it in the oven and you put it like this i was putting it like this and then i think over i overlap this paper like this and then start burning and it gets a different color so if you want to try practice okay practice putting overlapping papers and you will see those marks but if you want even colors, remember just to put plain one on top of the other. Look at this beautiful. I'm going to put this one on the side. Now, look at this beautiful music paper. See all of the edges. So vintage. Look. And with that rosy color. And this one is the calendar paper look super pink because these are thinner they get the the stain more deeper see so i just put two in there it's getting more and more windy okay the last thing and the best i tried um dyeing with a purple cabbage and i found a video 
um, sharing how your papers look and I was so excited to try so I'm gonna share with you and after that I give you the steps and everything okay so right now I'm gonna share with you all the colors first because all my things are going to blow from here these are the most beautiful colors I love all the colors but these one are my favorite and I'm not a super fan of purple but I love this beautiful lavender color look look at this this is the um seam binding look at this is the embroidery lace here is how your cotton lace will look okay i'm going to put it on the side and then right here look at this beautiful stain on the coffee filters see it looks like marble this one looked like this because I didn't line the cookie sheet with the parchment paper and started getting this color and that's why it looks like kind of brown because it was uh, too, the heat was too much. I think I left longer but then I started putting the lining paper and yeah all of the colors were uh, very nice even okay. Now look, do, look at the envelopes. The envelopes they got this um, blue and purple tone that I love it and I'm gonna tell you why when I give you all the tips about the, the coloring and measurements okay so I just wanted to show you and look at this wasn't the first um, time that I started uh, drying okay and now I'm gonna show you I don't want to make things okay and look at this these are different kinds of paper doily as you can see this is on one quality and this is another one and this kind of paper grab a lighter color than this one see lighter and darker this is more like lavender and this is purple and bluish and right here are the um, papers the copy papers and I want to share with you okay that there is a slightly deeper color on these ones because I iron them on, okay? And they look a little bit uh, more lavender. But this one looks like more like lilac. And why? It's because I didn't iron them on this one, okay? I didn't um, iron on. That's why it looks like this, okay? Bulky when you put them together. So these are lighter if you like this color you can just leave it like this and maybe press with books or something so they can be firm but if you want uh, to iron um the papers they they look much better okay for a book or something um and the color will be um more um rich look at this beautiful color on the edge and i want to show you right here see that stains because there was something here and look at this this brown is because of the cookie sheet and it wasn't lining and look at this almost burning okay that's why it gets these colors okay it was this part at the bottom and it was almost burning so I just took them and it was like this, but I like it. Beautiful, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you the um, notebook paper. Look, see, can you see this is lighter than the edges? It's because I put them like 10, I think, together. And this one didn't soak very well. So that's why it gets lighter. Can you see this one as that was at the bottom? It's darker, okay? So those are the things that you should know. See, can you see right here the difference? Okay, so now this is the calendar paper. It's a different paper and that's why it got this uh, blue color. And that's because of the fibers that this paper has, okay? Each paper is going to be different. Not all of them are going to get the same color. And look at this music paper because it was ivory, it got more um, deeper blue. 
okay so right here if you see them all together even if this one looks kind of blue they can match perfectly all of your other papers okay because they have some accents now that I show you the real colors of everything, I'm going to get inside and I'm going to tell you all the measurements and, and stuff that you should know, okay? So let's go now. Now, I am ready to tell you everything about my experiment or my experience dyeing these papers. You will need a um, shallow container like this, okay? It can be any kind of container, a metal or glass, but um, your papers have to fit in there, okay? Can you see? You will need a spoon um, because when you place the paper, okay? Uh, let's see, this one it has the, the T, and then you are going to place the paper this way, okay? Trying to put all to the deep. And then with a spoon, you are going to press to the bottom because the paper, when it's not wet, it tends to float. So you have to try to push it and the water has to come up on top. And I told you that if you want an even color, you have to do it one by one. Okay, when you put in the water and make sure everything is covered. Then you, after you see that everything is covered, you put the second paper and in the same direction, okay? Try to make it dive into the water and then just push with the spoon and try to push, push until it goes at the bottom, okay? Then you just can do it like maybe 30 different papers and then you will see how much water you have and keep going okay and then let it soak like um, I, I did it like between um six to ten minutes and some of them six minutes and it's lighter color ten minutes it's kind of um, dark if you let it more time it, it probably will go darker i use two of these okay two cookie sheets and i put this one is parchment paper Parchment paper is baking paper in other places, but this is better. Don't use wax paper because it, it burns. Okay, so you use parchment paper and you just cover the size of your um, cookie sheet. Okay, and um, this one you can get it at a dollar tree or 99 cents. And it looks like this, see? It gets a little bit um, darker because of uh, the long time that it's being exposed to the um, heat, but then it's not damaged, it's not dirty, so you can reuse it for the next time. See, I just put it like this, okay, and then uh, I just put the papers, and again, if you don't want your paper to stain and be totally clean like this, uh, you are going to put them like this, separated, okay? One in each side. But if you don't mind, like, putting three papers, uh, you are going to get the marks, but you can put, like, three, for example, like this. You can put three, but then you are going to get different colors in your paper, okay? Just to let you know that you are going to get stains and marks. So if you don't want anything, just put it straight and not touching each other and remember that when it's in the oven you have to take your time to um, turn the paper okay this way I had the two papers in the cookie sheet and then I just took at the two minutes and switch it like this see the center to the outside and then wait two minutes and then take it out it was completely dry so it's very fast and while you are waiting those two minutes you can grab all other papers and separate them okay so you take your time separating and when you have some four sheets ready to put in the oven these are ready so you put them this one away and then you put the new ones again okay and then go again and separate the other ones and yeah super fast okay now um, I'm going to um, tell you about the, the tea. I use different amounts. For example, for the chamomile, 
for the chamomile i use only four bags okay i use four bags and i um dilute it on the boiling water and then um after everything was diluted i put on the shallow container and it was rich in color it was uh, a beautiful yellow and then i uh, put the papers and remember that you had to put the the thick ones at the bottom and the coffee filters on top because this one it's like fabric it, it grabs all the um colors very fast so you can put this one on the very top okay now the envelopes should be at the very bottom because this is double paper see this is double paper and when you put in the water you have to soak them like this okay you have to put it like this with the with the spoon you put them inside and try that the water goes here first and then with the spoon you just press and just continue putting the other one okay and the same thing you just open put the inside okay and then press so it has the water okay inside and outside so your um, envelope is going to be one even color okay so and remember if you put like paper doilies you put it on the very top because these are very delicate if you put it at the bottom or in the middle it's hard to take them apart you're going to ruin them so these ones it's better always that you put on the top the tutorial that i found that it was uh, the best for me and it worked step by step is the one from rosa kelly scrapbooking and her tutorial is how to tea coffee dyeing paper for this one i uh, put in a separate bowl i make the infusion then i put this one inside and let it soak for a few minutes like five minutes and then it just let it dry okay so that's how i did and i'm going to put a link of rosa kelly's video in the description box so you can follow her steps okay and the temperature was uh 250 i try uh less but it takes more time and i try it at a higher temperature and the paper burns so be careful with that um i think 250 is perfect and because it was only one layer of paper i did it faster in two minutes okay so you just put like four papers two in each cookie sheet and then at the two minutes you just open the oven and you will see that it's almost dry and you can switch change and then one more minute maybe and it's completely dry so that's how i did with the chamomile and also with a pomegranate and green tea and also the same with the classic tea okay and and if you want a lighter color don't leave it too much okay you can leave it like five minutes maybe and it's going to be a lighter but if you leave that 10 minutes this is the color that you're going to get okay beautiful very vintage and also in her video you will see um how she plays with the paper doily and other stuff to make um sun decoration in your paper okay that's a very good video so i'm going to share that with you and now let me tell you about the avocado dyeing okay i watch several videos about how to um do the avocado dyeing and what i learned from all of the videos was that the avocado it had to be ripe okay don't use the green avocado don't use the ones that are completely black your um color is going to be kind of brown you had to look at the avocado and it had to be kind of dark like black but you have to see the reddish color in the skin okay of the avocado so that's important if you don't see the red the reddish color then your color is going to look like brownish okay so 
that's one of the tips on what I learned about the video in the videos. And one of the videos that I like the most because it worked exactly with me. I try different times and temperatures and everything, but the most accurate was the video from Ramona. She is Cherished Treasures. And I'm going to put the link of her video in the description box as well. And you will see how she's doing everything, all the process, okay? And when you pick up the water with the spoon, you, you will see that the color of the dye, it's going to look like kind of light brown. No, you have to wait until it looks a little bit uh, pink. You will see that it has more pink than, than brown. And for this, I use two liters of water and four avocado skins and the pits uh, for one hour and a half. And then I let it um, warm. And then I started doing the papers and yeah, I soak everything in the water for about 10 minutes. And I did the papers first and then I um, put my laces and the rest of the infusion that was left. That's how I did. In her video, she dyes the laces, but and it's the same process putting the papers and putting in the oven as the same as if you were um, using the tea bags, okay? So you have the liquid and then the process is the same as the other one, okay? So that's how you get all these beautiful colors. And as, as I told you, if you want uh, the papers that looks like this with uh, no marks and everything, you know, I told you how to do it and it's going to be exactly the same. And the last one is this one, the purple cabbage dyeing. And this one I tried because I saw a video from Susie. She is Creative Cafe Girl. Thank you, Susie, for trying something new. I love, love, love these colors. So um, I'm going to put a link of her video in the description box. She's not doing tutorial, but I'm going to tell you what I find out about using the purple cabbage. Now look at how the purple cabbage looks like. So you are sure that what you're going to get. This is the purple cabbage that I bought. And look at the size. See, it's like the size of my hand. And this is how it looks um, inside. It's a beautiful purple. See, now <laughs> let me tell you about that. It's very interesting. Doing these processes, it's a lot of fun and you experiment and you have to be patient because sometimes you think things are getting wrong. You are going to fail, but, but be positive. <laughs> Okay, I almost throw everything <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. First, I boil water, okay, like about two liters, okay, in a, in a pot. And when it and was boiling, I cut the cabbage in, um, in pieces, okay, thick pieces, like about an inch and a half, and then put it in the pot and put in a medium temperature for uh, 30 minutes. Now, this is how it looks. Can you see how beautiful color? The water looks so beautiful. Lavender color, beautiful, okay? But when you put in the container, as the water is getting warm, or getting colder, it turns blue. Okay, as you can see, time passed and I was taking too long and the water turned blue. And when I finished putting the envelopes, I noticed that the water was getting blue and darker. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And then I started putting the papers very fast, <laughs> trying to rush. And I noticed that it was getting cold and it was turning everything blue. And I was like, no. <laughs> It should be purple. <laughs> and I was pressing everything, trying to uh, put everything inside. And when I finished putting all the papers, I was sad because 
everything, everything was soaking wet, but it looked dark blue, like gray, between blue and gray. I didn't like it. And I was like, oh no, I fell with this one. What happened? And I was going to throw everything away because I thought that um, something went wrong. But what happened is um, that, okay, I was positive. I'm going to put that blue papers, blue dark papers in the oven to see maybe it turns light blue and I can use it. And the first thing that I put was the coffee filters. And when I put the coffee filters in there, I just closed the oven and I was like separating the papers and I was like, mm, down, okay, I'll see, I'll see what happens. And when I opened the oven, it had this beautiful color. All the blue color turned into this rich lavender. And it was like the color that I saw on Susie's video. I think, um, the heat activate the colors and it turns like purple again. So I started putting all of my papers and I saw immediately when uh, I put that it was like grayish and turned like into a beautiful lavender. So I was so happy, but sometimes because of the fibers of the paper, it doesn't turn um, lavender like this, okay? They stay on blue. But these ones were perfect. It was so, so beautiful. You saw it um, in a daylight. That's the color. And yeah, I was super happy that um, it turned the color that I wanted. And then on the rest of the liquid, I put these laces. And it was like grayish too. And I was thinking, okay, if I let it dry this way, they are going to stay blue or gray. Okay, so what should I do? So I, after I finish um, drying my papers, I turn it off the oven and then I separated all of these um, laces like this, very, very um, um, separate. I put them like this, separate, okay, in each uh, cookie sheet. Um, and then I let it dry for about um, two minutes. And when I opened the oven, I noticed that beautiful color and I said, yes, yes. <laughs> so the heat changed the color. Uh, dark grayish color turned into a beautiful lavender. And I was so super happy. Oh. <laughs> So I finished drying this one after I noticed that it was changing. I just um, grab again and turn to the other side so it can dry everything without um, burning this one on the cookie sheet. If you don't move the things, um, it can get brownish. So I just uh, switch, okay, like the other side and then it finished drying and it was uh, fast and it doesn't have any marks or anything. And yeah, that's my experience. And I don't want you to be surprised when that happened to you if you use this technique. So I had so much fun dyeing papers and I love the colors that I got and I can't wait to make some journals with it. <music> I hope this video was helpful for all of you and don't forget to visit the ladies channel to see their experience and how they did it all the process okay thank you very much for watching my videos for your likes your comments and for subscribing to my channel have a blessed day everyone bye bye